So welcome back. This is part two of my Ableton Live tutorial showing you guys how to set up your computer keyboard as a DIY MIDI controller. Cool, moving right along. One more very important step. All of the same MIDI notes are being sent to the instrument rack, the drums, the bass, and the keys, and the only thing that makes them play their respective instruments is having the correct drum, bass, or piano instrument in these channels. It's, it'll make a lot more sense when I show you what I'm talking about. So we're gonna click drums here on our instrument rack, mouse over to where it says Kit Core 808. I'm gonna click that, right click, and copy it, and then click into our drums channel, right click and paste. So now there's a drum channel with a drum instrument. So now click back, do the same thing for the bass, right click, copy, come in here. I'm just gonna hit the hot key, control V. Okay, so now the keys are in the right track, the bass is in the right track, and the drums. Now we're pretty much all set up to loop, except Normally in Ableton, you're gonna have to come in here and click these little circular buttons that are kind of inflating when I mouse over them. But we want to be able to seamlessly record and loop things without having to come over to our mouse and and click while, you know, drumming. Like it'll, it'll just be a disaster if we can't have it all on the keyboard. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to link these buttons to our number pad. Open up the keyboard mapping again. And I like to do this so that it's visually congruent with like my keyboard. So first I'm gonna click my first record button on the drums, that'll be one. My first bass record button will be two. My first keyboard record button will be three. And then I want a whole nother layer of potential recording. So here's four for my drums, five for bass, six for keys. So now we're all linked up between this session and this keyboard. Let's get a click track going. You're probably not gonna be able to hear that click track because it's in my headphones, but you'll be able to hear it in your own project. I'm gonna go into edit, record quantization, and I'm going to enable eighth note quantization. So what that's gonna do is it's going to align my beats to an eighth note grid. If I'm a little late or a little early, it's just gonna like fuse it all to this grid so we don't have to worry as much about the performance. Think of this as your sketchbook. You don't have to like worry about being perfectly on time in your sketchbook. So when I hit my one key to record our first drum track, it's gonna give me a full one bar before that recording begins. One, two, three, four, one, two. Cool, let's just get two beats in there. Let's have another option. Let's get over to the bass by hitting period to cycle through our instrument selector. <laughs> That's kind of goofy, but I like it. Okay, so now let's cycle over to our keys. I'll hit X to go up two octaves into the range we want our keys to be in, and I'll hit three to start. So there you have it. So now we have a little, the makings of a song. We've got the Ableton set set up. All we have to do in the future is pull this same uh, session up, delete these tracks we already have in here, and then we're good to go. We can demo stuff out, we can solo over this, I don't know. Cool, so I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Go out and make some awesome music on your computer.